In this one, we've got clear blue water and we're going to what I call the snapper rigs. Gonna be free dive spear fishing, rod and reeling for cobia, and just enjoying the day and the awesome conditions we get. And we're bringing along a longtime patron and viewer, now friend, Jim, to share the rig diving experience. He's been wanting to get out here and jump in, and we're doing it. All out of the ponga. Tag along, this is Braden Dives. Hoping for a cobia down there. We jigged this rig, but didn't have one come up. But maybe, See me and get All right, dive spot two. Let's rock. I wish I was recording. A dolphin just swooped in and smashed a spade fish. <laughs> oh, shoot. Big spinner shark. I just filmed one swimming through. It was really cool.
say I've never been happier to miss in my life. What? I've never been happier to miss. As soon as I shot, it seems like these sharks are trained. Two big spitters just came darting in. I got a little too picky on that dive. See the spinner shark down there swimming around it. Really? Is that what you were doing, or was just letting it? Well, I was gonna see. I was seeing what he was doing. Yeah. If he was gonna try to make a go at it, then I kind of got in between and flicked my fin, and he smoked off, and I grabbed it. Check out the dolphins. <laughs> Ideally, especially when there's sharks around, I mean, usually you want to do it just in general around the rig legs. If you shoot, whenever you shoot the fish, you want to put some tension on the line so you can stop it from diving down and tangling up. But I didn't grab the, the line or the reel quick enough and this thing kind of darted down. So not only was it tangled, it was ringing the dinner bell. Nice mangrove. Didn't go exactly as planned or as smooth as I hoped, but got it done.
those guns have too much power. He's zipping through, allowing these things to run. Fisher does the same thing with this gun. It shoots a little bit low, it seems like. Shot it right through the belly. Something to keep in mind. Yeah, I just realized that. I don't know what, but for the life of me, I cannot hit these fish in the head. I'm going to blame it on all the spade fish. Trying to shoot through the, the spades. Check it out. It got beautiful. Turned out to be slicked out. Didn't think it was going to get this nice, but I am not complaining one bit. Also give an update on the, the fish bag here. We're losing ice quick. This thing has been packed to the brim one too many times and the zipper's ripping up. There is two and three good solid mangroves. This is right here. I wish this was on my eight foot ride. I don't know, that'll do it though. Just make sure, check that drag. Yeah. Whoa. Come on, cobras. Oh, it might be this little one. I got something on. Oh, real, real, real. Oh, that's a cobia. Titan. Titan? Right real, 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 real. Just crank, crank, crank. That's coming up like a cobia. Oh my goodness. If it's not a shark, please. I'm gonna be so pumped for you. Me too, man. Focus on getting that. It's under the boat. It's coming up. It's under the boat. Swimming out now. Swimming out away, away from the boat. Co Cobia, baby. Really? Yeah. There it is. That is picture perfect. There it is. Nice and easy, nice and easy. I'm going to get an eye on it, see what it looks like. Well, and let's see if we can attract another one. Okay, I don't know if that's a keeper, actually. It doesn't look 30, it doesn't look, what is it now, 40 or 37? It's 40 out here. I'm yeah. not going to gap it. Yeah, I don't think so. But it's very close. We'll pull well, it up. That's still awesome, though. We'll let it get a little closer. and I'm going to try to boat flip it. It, it ain't ready for that. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, I said we're going to hit some, can you some take, more rigs. Can you take a picture of me? Oh, yeah. So we're going to hit some more rigs and 
Try to get a cobia and Jim dropped. What in the world is happening up there? Dropped a jig down and got tight down deep. Let me give you a good look at it. Right there, look. Mm. Measure on it. Think to the to the tip or to the can't remember. Wish I had my grips left in my unit. Um, bring them up close this way. I think it's gonna be short. Do you have a, something to measure? We'll bring them in and measure. Yeah, I just don't really want to stick them. No, I don't either. Not until we're. He's... And if he is, <laughs> I'm buying a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring him this way. I got two. Oh, broke your line. Well, we had them both side. Sorry, right. I, I honestly don't think that was forty. you some food. Uh -oh. I, see, I see some color. I see some color. <laughs> he doesn't like the boat. I see some color. Whew, I chased that thing so fast. Well, after the cobra incident and hitting two more spots, I think, and not seeing one, I decided to just get some more meat in the box. Jim to take back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's very green, so watch out. Aguda. Aguda. Barracuda. Acuna batata. That's for everyone who says, why don't you shoot the kudas? Well there you go. When we want some some more meat. They're good options, that's for sure. They're pretty fun, they take off hard. anything again for like the third spot in a row so I was like well these guys showed up doesn't seem to be any sharks around that's a good it's a good safe time
here's a little tip for slip tips. This, there's a behemoth below us. If the shot's not in the head of the fish, you can just unscrew your slip tip adapter and pull your tip. Mm-hmm.